Just months ago, she was celebrated for her historic election win, becoming one of the first Muslim women ever elected to Congress. But now, Democrat Ilhan Omar of Minnesota is in hot water again, including with her own party, over her controversial remarks on Israel, which senior Democrats and Jewish groups say play on anti-Semitic tropes. The people have elected us. On Wednesday, Omar is expected to face her second public rebuke on the House floor, with Speaker Nancy Pelosi bringing a vote on a resolution to condemn anti-Semitism. Last month, Omar sparked outrage after she suggested in a tweet that campaign donations fuel Republican support for Israel, saying, quote, it's all about the Benjamins. She has since apologized. Then, last week, she courted controversy again, telling an event in Washington, quote, I want to talk about the political influence in this country that says it is okay to push for allegiance to a foreign country, her words widely interpreted as referring to Israel. House Appropriations Committee Chairwoman Nita Lowy called on Omar to apologize, tweeting, quote, I believe we can debate important policy without using offensive, painful stereotypes. But as Omar clashes with senior lawmakers, some prominent names are sticking by her. On Tuesday, fellow Democratic freshman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez fired off a string of tweets in Omar's defense, arguing, quote, no one seeks this level of reprimand when members make statements about Latinx and other communities. President Pelosi so and other senior lawmakers speak. have reportedly drafted the House resolution, which does not, not identify Omar by name.